All right, guys. I am back here on this unit, the one where we did the uh, solenoid, the leaky solenoid and the TXV. So we're getting an error on this control that it's short cycling. Now it's short cycling because of the thermostat placement. The thermostat is right behind like a smoothie machine and like an ice machine. So the thermostat is satisfying. And then two, three minutes later, it's coming back on because for one, uh, somebody turned off the five minute compressor protection, which I know they're a pain in the ass, but somebody turned that off. And they also set it up for six cycles per hour. This is a cool only unit. Someone set it up for six cycles per hour. So uh, it's it doesn't even have any kind of off cycle. So this is what we're gonna do. We got the thermostat um, here right now, and we're gonna go through its, its settings and set it up because this is a two-stage unit. Okay, so this first one here, that's just, um, that's just programming uh, schedule. All right, we're set up for, so 1.30, we don't have an outdoor sensor. Uh, 200, this is our heating system. So we are five, cool only. 220, we have two compressor uh, stages. 365 this is our cycles per hour somebody had this set up for six and we want that at three and then this is our second stage cooling we want that set up for three also this is our compressor protection we want that five minutes so even if it does try to short cycle it will at least be off for five minutes all right our minimum set point is 68 let's see what 435 is uh, we don't, that's a keypad lockout. We don't need that. Uh, 500 is indoor temperature sensor. We don't have an indoor temperature sensor. 702 filters. Okay, the rest of this is just um, daylight savings time type stuff and, uh, and the like. Okay, so we're done. Okay, so this thermostat is now set up for three cycles per hour on first stage cooling, three cycles per hour second stage cooling, and a minimum compressor protection of five minutes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this thermostat back on, and then let me show you something else I'm gonna do as a fail safe. Right. <clears throat> we also have this delay on make timer. This came with the unit as an accessory, but it's a 180 second delay on make. So what it does is when there is a call on Y, it will keep the system off for a minimum of 180 seconds before it allows the unit to come on. So that is in place. So our, um, our Emerson uh, comfort alert doesn't throw itself in an air for short cycling. Uh, it, it was already on here, but I don't believe it was wired right. We have it wired correctly now, but um, I don't know if it was on right. It, it didn't make sense the way it was in uh, that I, when I looked at it. So we put it in the way it's supposed to be. So now the unit, even in the case of a short cycle or something like that, uh, even if there's something inside in the low voltage wiring that happened, um, other than the thermostat breaking it, it will stay off for a minimum of 180 seconds to satisfy this control here. So we're just waiting on the thermostat. There it is. So it's coming on now. All right, so if that repair doesn't work, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a remote sensor and just put it in the ductwork and then wire the S1 terminals uh, on the thermostat. And then it'll just read its temperature right from the return duct instead of behind a freaking ice machine. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think I got any video of that, but yeah, the thermostat is installed like right behind their beverage bar. You know, in convenience stores, they got like a, like a slushy machine and then soda fountain, ice machine, and like some other drink machines. The thermostat is behind all that. <laughs> so it's ha it has heat blown on it all day long. And the thing is, the air conditioner will satisfy the thermostat, but within a couple minutes, with the heat blowing on it, it just comes right back up again. So um, I'm probably just gonna go back and, and put a um, put a sensor on that thing so the thermostat can stay where it's at. 
um, and it'll just read its temperature from the return duck. So <laughs> I don't know who thought to put that back there, but uh, it wasn't us. So, all right, guys, that's it for this one. A little short one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.